Hmm. No, I didn't think about about that. I didn't. I just thought about the. My job was uh, in the human scale, in the the family side, the very limited view of a small town girl. And I'm a small town girl from New Jersey. My town had a number of boys that went to Vietnam right out of high school and never came back. My boyfriend went to Vietnam and came back. He was a medic, came back a heroin addict and I mean, it, it, it uh, had a profound effect on many people's lives. And so I was familiar with the effect, the emotional, personal, mm, microcosmic effect uh, of, the, of this story. And the larger part, uh, the, the Vietnam adventure uh, with when the boys went off and shot that part, I didn't... I didn't have anything to say about it, but again, this is the same thing. It's just so interesting. It never occurred to me until this moment that um, Michael Cimino said, I don't know what she says, this girl. So, you know, what do you think she says when she's in the supermarket? So they let me write my part that they don't always let me write my own part. <laughs> Those two early movies, yeah, they did. <laughs> And then the thing, I mean, it's not the only one where you're not in the entire movie. This one with the beginning and the ending, and it's probably like 20, 25 minutes of, uh, of presence of, uh, in, in the film. But when we remember the film, it feels like you're in all of it. I mean, you are the reason why those uh, young people want to come back. You are the reason, the, uh, the anchor that brings them back home and they're fighting for. Uh, how does that happen? I mean, Kramer is the same. You're only like 10, 12 minutes in the film, and it feels like you're always there. I mean, how does that, how did you work? Do you work on that? I mean, do you do that on purpose? Are you this good? <laughs> no, but that's the day, those it's are one. the days when there was only one woman in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> so we remember her. We remember her hair, you know? I don't know. <laughs> 